Well, we talked about it last night on the News at 10, uh, the ways teens are misusing social media. Yeah, uh, but apparently uh, Nikki is saying that uh, the Biebs didn't get the bulletin, did he? Um, yeah, well, he, he kind of actually posted something to Instagram that kind of landed him some hot water. Can't believe he didn't listen to us last night. I just can't. <laughs> anyway, the Biebs used the photo sharing site to document getting pulled over by police. What? Yes. Now the pop star was pulled over in his Ferrari, of course, in West Hollywood. And uh, fame is in everything, ladies and gentlemen. He did get a ticket for making an unsafe turn. Police say that his registration had also expired. Oops. I don't know. Isn't there someone to check that for you if you're that rich? I don't know. Yeah, I would think that uh, somebody's probably off the old uh, staff tonight. Yes, for sure. Well, anyway, that picture on the left there is from his rearview mirror that he took. Now, we already told you yesterday, or earlier this week rather, that he had split with his girlfriend, Selena Gomez. The latest rumor now is that he actually proposed to her before she said goodbye. I didn't know she was the one who broke up with him. Well, that's, of course, internet rumor. Oh, okay. We don't know for sure yet. That's why it's trending. Exactly. <laughs> it's on the internet. <laughs> what right. happened? I need oh, no. the interweb. This no. changes everything. What? Yes. And on the topic of wedding bells, mm -hmm. this is kind of crazy. Comedian Janine Garofalo just recently found out she's actually married and has been for 20 years. <laughs> yes. It was a result of a night of fun in Las Vegas with a writer um, after a reunion for the Ben Stiller show. It's legal, too. They only found out when Rob Cohen from The Big Bang Theory was actually getting ready to get married for real. They had since divorce. But, hmm. Uh, yeah, um, you probably ought to write that down somewhere. Yeah. Write it down, even if you can't yeah, remember it. I'll have somebody take a note for you. Put a sticky note on <laughs> yeah. the refrigerator. Got married this past weekend. I know. In She's got ties to Wilmington, too. She's been in here. Oh, oh really? yeah, quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't remember for what, but I know she's been here. Yeah. Well, the world's sexiest man has ties to Wellington. It's named it's Channing Tatum. He is married, though, so sorry, ladies. His, his wife is actually uh, actress Jenna DeWine Tatum. She's one of the stars of The Witches of East End. That was a TV pilot that filmed around this area back in October. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, who knows? Some people may have seen him. Anyway, he's training to play an Olympic athlete in next year's Foxcatcher. Fox hmm. You know, I watched Magic Mike, that's all I'm saying. He's See, I haven't seen some it. moves. That's based on Should his I have life. admitted that? I don't know. I got dragged <laughs> to the movie, to be honest. But uh -huh. he danced as well. <laughs> he, he had experiences dancing. That yeah, was based actually, on his yeah. life. I can see you getting dragged to the movies for that one, yeah. I did get dragged. Mm -hmm. I really did get dragged. Yeah. I haven't watched a movie for a long yeah, time. Sure. Yeah, okay. sure. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Time for us to go to it's break. Mm -hmm. Should we drag it a break too while we're at it? <laughs> I guess. If okay. you're going to make me go. I'll make you go to break. Uh, nice. Aisha Scott's going to let us know the chances of running into some rain uh, between now and the weekend. We are tired of the rain. I'm just saying. I'm tired of it too. Done. Okay. So far. <laughs>